Hello and welcome back to Archaeology 101. Today's topic will be a comprehensive look at the almost unknown Denisovans. Denisovans were only recently discovered in 2010 during excavations at Denisova Caves, Siberia. This was possible due to a ludicrously small amount of evidence. The skeletal evidence equates to a single finger bone and a couple of teeth, all from different individuals. Despite this, successful DNA extraction was completed on the remains, identifying it as neither sapiens nor Neanderthal. Without this crucial piece of scientific data, we would be completely unaware that there was contemporary species with sapiens other than the Neanderthals. Denisovans are one of the only human species we know of from practically an entirely genetic stance. Recent studies on contemporary populations show that some Asian populations actually have small amounts of Denisovan DNA within their own, obtained through direct interbreeding in at least two events in different locations. It is uncertain whether Denisovans dispersed from Africa or evolved within Asia, but we do know that they were very active in Asia itself and amongst the sapiens populations. For example, the Papuan population display the highest proportion of Denisovan DNA over all the Australasian examples. There is also a possibility that they bred with sapiens in China, such as the Red Deer people who display a mixture of archaic traits such as flat faces and chinless jaws. There is still very much a question mark over the Red Deer people, and it's not been confirmed fully that they have bred with Denisovans, but they may well have been robust early modern humans, but there is also very good evidence for there being some sort of archaic genetic admixture into their own DNA. Genetic data suggest there was also genetic exchange between Denisovans and Neanderthals, sampled from Cima de los Huesos, that's fa uh, the famous Spanish site, or that they had split from a common ancestor, which is also what current thinking of the sapiens and Neanderthal relationship is. Denisovans are thought to have split with Neanderthals from a common ancestor around 700,000 years ago, and they survived maybe up to around 40,000 years ago. And genetically, they are closer to Neanderthal than they are to us, but probably split from the same ancestor, which was probably Heidelberg against us, which is most likely the one that we split from as well. Because there is very little evidence, we don't know what Denisovans actually look like. However, inferences have been taken from the thickness of the finger bones, for example, which suggests a similarity to the robustness of Neanderthal. Perhaps with a grain of salt, we can also infer the resemblance to Neanderthal from how genetically close Denisovans was to the Neanderthals. The former was closer to the latter than it is to us. In fact, we know more about the limitations of Denisovan than their actual lifestyles or their physiology. Lab results show that Denisovans, like Neanderthal, had limited genetic variation, i.e. a very small genetic pool and probably population. This strongly indicates an ill ability to quickly adapt to the stresses of a changing environment, which could have resulted in a mass extinction event, which is likely to have happened to Neanderthal also. There really isn't a whole lot more to be said about them, as this would require delving into some very complex discussions about DNA, which is way beyond anything that I could comprehend. But no doubt in the near future, some more data in a more lay language will be produced, which I can understand and relay once that's been discovered. So definitely be on the lookout for Denisovan information in your news feeds. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your thoughts on Denisovans and similar uh, species in the comments. I'd love to know what you think about them. The Denisovan does open up a whole new world of possibilities, namely how many other lost scripts of hominins there actually were, and I'd like to see what you think about them. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time on Archaeology 101.